What's up, my boyos? Today we're going through Craigslist. Okay, that's that's a good start. I said I wasn't gonna make this rant. I said I wasn't gonna make this rant, but my boys, it has to be done. Now I'm not sure how many people have actually already done this rant before. I'm sure plenty, but this is my take on it. Now, like all great stories, there has to be a beginning. We shall start at the front page of the Craigslist cars and trucks section. We're gonna put in $3,000 as the maximum price and let's just see what comes up. And so here's the results. We have a pretty wide variety of cars here. Everything seems to be below the price that we wanted. So where's the issue? Well, in no time flat, we have just come across our first offender, the $0 price listing. This is the focus of the rant. This is the absolute core of my protest. I absolutely despise this method of selling as i will repeat over and over in this rant if you want somebody to buy your car list it for the price that you want to sell it for or maybe just a tiny bit higher so there's some room for negotiation if you're listing a twenty thousand dollar car for one dollar chances are somebody sorting from low to high aren't going to give a fuck about your car because they can't afford it they're looking for a cheap car but it's just mind-blowing on how many of these people insist on listing their car so that it shows up first in the search results and the worst part about it really, is that most of these people who list their cars for these stupid prices like $1 almost always accompany the listing with terrible pictures of the vehicles and bad lighting. They don't even try to take the vehicle out, give it a polish or anything. And then, and then in the description, they still have the audacity to ask twice what the car's worth. I don't think I've ever seen a car listing that says $1 and then went to the car and been like, oh, that's a good deal. Like never, I, I really don't think, <laughs> I really don't think I have. Like dudes are really out here thinking that the $1 thing is some type of IRL Craigslist cheat code to optimizing your listing. And this petty hatred actually runs pretty deep. I recall being 13 or 14 years old um, with one of my friends and we're up in his room going through Craigslist for some reason. I guess we were looking for cars cause we were gonna drive soon. And I saw a car and it said like $12 or something like that. I kid you not, I called the guy up right there and said, are you, are you the guy who's selling his car for $12? <laughs> and keep in mind, this is like 14 year old me, my voice had not really dropped very much yet. So it was obviously just some kid. And the guy was like, no, I'm selling it for $14,000. And I don't know, I, I was just on one that day. And in like the most condescending voice, I'm like, oh, well, it's like, oh, well, do the zeros on your keyboard not work? Because you do realize that you're supposed to put $14,000 for the pricing, right? And I don't even remember what the guy said. He was like, oh, well, th that's just what I do because I want my car to show up. Like he was huffing and puffing about it. But really, at the end of the day, it's less about the psychology behind the reason why people are doing it. Like, oh, they just want to, you know, have a, everybody wants to be the first listing to show up like that's very relatable I, I i understand that the part that really fuels this petty rant is sort of the willful ignorance that seems to be portrayed by these people like these people have obviously never had to genuinely go through craigslist and look for a car because anybody with any shred of self-awareness would realize that what they're doing is extremely annoying and while there's not a ton of people who do it anymore these days, I've noticed, when you do do it, it's still just stupid. Speaking of stupid, there is one more thing that I want to mention that is a very notable, annoying thing that Craigslist people do, and that is misrepresenting the miles of the car. Instead of putting 100,000 miles, for the mileage, they'll put 1 or 10 or a hundred, right? They'll say a hundred for the mileage, but you know they mean a hundred thousand, but that's not gonna show up when Craigslist goes and tries to filter the results for you. No, you're gonna have to look at the car, think that there's some sort of lower mileage on it. Now for anybody who's even just trying to play devil's advocate out there, I will not grant these people any type of forgiveness. There are so many other things that you can do to make sure that your car shows up on Craigslist and to make sure that you're gonna get a sale or that you're getting eyes on your listing. It's the golden rule, treat others the way you'd wanna be treated. List cars that you yourself would want to look at. If the car you're listing isn't something that you would find compelling yourself, what makes you think other people would find it compelling? And if you have to tweak the truth in order to even get people to look at your listing, maybe there's something wrong with it to begin with. Now there's a couple of nuances that I can address too, like people who say that I have a car with 52,000 miles on it. And I know from experience that when I look for a car that and I want less than 50,000 miles, 
I'm gonna put 50,000 miles in the max thing, not 55,000 miles, not 52,000 miles, 50,000 miles. All the cars with even one tick above 50,000 miles, at least if the owners put that listing in the odometer, are now not gonna show up. So how do you deal with that? Well, that's 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 when I put in the 52 miles because I know that my car will show up and then they'll look at it and see the 52. Wrong, okay, wrong. Don't do that. You might not think you're in the wrong because it's a situational basis, but looking from the top down, you are part of the problem. What you should do instead is maybe take your mileage. If your car is 50,000 miles, but you have 52 on it, just put 50,000 on the odometer. I won't call the FBI on you. In the description, make sure it's very readable. 52,000 miles and then you know you can even say something about how good you took care of it people will appreciate that a lot more than sorting for a car like let's say somebody wants a car with less than 30,000 miles and they see your car anybody looking for a car with miles lower than the mileage that you're putting on there are now going to see your car either way so so you're just automatically making yourself less tasteful in the process I don't know and really at the end of the day it's just like people are gonna want what they want right you can't there's really not much you can do to trick people into wanting your car, except maybe take better pictures, write a good concise description, and when you own the car in the process, take good care of your car when you're owning it so you can sell it for a little bit more above market value because you can tell people, hey, I babied this car. This rant is getting kind of long, but these are two things that I am uh, very passionate about, especially when it's like two in the morning and I'm on Craigslist. So. All right, gang, time to pack it up. I'll talk to you later.